Hello, hello, ladies and gentlemen, your beloved big man here, and welcome back to a brand new series where we will be doing some creative building for once. It's been forever. I'm over here at a small project that I am working on. I'm calling this place Nar al Zalib. Uh, it's kind of a Arabic word for river crossing, or like a river cross, like you can see here, it's like a wide junction with rivers and I'm building a desert town in the middle here kind of a very defensive position also very good for trading and stuff like that that's something I'm doing myself though off camera I won't be building here together with you I'm just showing you off a little bit before I will take you over to a new location where we'll be building some awesome structures ourselves here so this is kind of a building here and I try to build like very realistically if you know what I mean try to put a lot of details into this I have uh, I have created a kind of a custom texture pack here or resource pack for those who are really new to the game where I have created uh, crates like this and some log piles and also made some randomization to the blocks like you can see the sandstone here has some more blank spots and some more like rough spots also you can see here in the path we have like a little bit of variation in the blocks but nothing much it still looks kind of vanilla but it's very cool, very awesome, and I'm really looking forward to do some let's build with you guys in uh, this style right here. Before we start doing some serious building, I want to make a small story for my build. So I want to build like a very small trading town, which also are located very close to river. So we can kind of use the river to make the soil good for planting crops and stuff like that. Also there will be like a road, main road going through the small town. Uh, where people like travelers or and stuff like that tradesmen would stop Maybe there will be like an inn or a tavern something like that where you could stop and rest and then move on So that's kind of what my I want to make like a basic town where yeah kind of like a trading town It's a very small one like maximum five houses and I think it will look pretty good So if you guys are excited be sure to smack that like button show me your support down there Also, I don't have a name for this place yet. I haven't been trying to find a name though, but uh, if you have good name suggestions, I'm really bad at this stuff, coming up with names and stuff like that. Be sure to let me know with a comment down below. Let's head into daytime. Little time set day. Oh, that's not how we type it. There you go. Let's turn it to daytime. Very cool. Uh, so this is the area we're walking with here. I'm on a custom map which I created all by myself here. So. Uh, yeah, it's very, it's a very big map, and I have lots of plans for this. So let's see where do we want to place the first build? Do we want to place it? Let's place it like not too far from the river here, I guess, and facing the road, which will go like. Let's try to do some planning here, like here. I think I want the road to go like kind of following along the river side here, and yeah, I'll kind of make like the town surrounding the path here. Uh, I think that will look pretty cool. So yeah guys, I'm on a custom map, which I have been uh, making all by myself here. It's very big, and it has like this desert area all in the south, and then we have some more uh, vegetated areas in the middle, and then we have some uh, like northern style in the all the way in the north. And yeah, it's, it's very cool, and I, I want to build like a very detailed and amazing Minecraft map in this in this world here. Where we kind of uh, create like a realistic world, if you know what I mean. Where we travel, could travel like follow a main road all the way through all of the kingdom here. And just travel along seeing different styles and put a lot of detail into every building. I don't mean like uh, stair spamming which some people call it. Like I don't want the uh, buildings to be unrealistically detailed. But I want to make a build that's like realistically, it could be like realistic like that and also put some uh, personalization into the build which is something I really like doing uh, adding small details and personality to it, each of the builds to make it unique you know I'm just trying to come up with a style here that's the first thing I like to do just come up with something that looks decent at least uh, I think this is very cool like a color pattern here with this smooth red sandstone which I also customed here down at the bottom and then some sandstone on top Looks really cool in the desert here. And I want to have like this taller section up here like this. Perhaps, uh, I don't know, something like this. Yeah, I also want to make this map like, 
I have like this dream of in the future making this like a RPG or roleplay server where people could join in and play like uh, other roleplay games like RuneScape or World of Warcraft and stuff like that on a Minecraft server with a lot of different features that would make it a really cool like experience to play on here and that's something that would have come to come in the future when this is all done uh, if that time ever comes I don't know but that's kind of like a plan I have but I don't know if I will ever come to that point but if I do it will be very awesome I hope <laughs> So yeah, I have lots of ambitions, but I don't always complete them. So if you guys enjoyed this, be sure to show me your support to give me more uh, inspiration and motivation to work on this project here. I have some frame issues now, I don't know if you guys can see it, but I hope you guys can just live with that. Uh, okay, so we have like this very basic facade here, uh, looking very cool. Then we want to like move on to the back of the build. How do we want to do this? Um, I think making this like a little bit taller how tall like uh, window like make a window here and then a window here and then like that go all the way up again and then I'm just trying to make this shape here before I start building something like that could work absolutely and then I want to have the stair on the outside for this build uh, I really enjoy that when I was building with Thor Hammerhand on the Legion server in survival Something that I've never actually thought about for myself, but it really works. It adds like a very cool addition to the build. So I really like that. And I know many of you guys came to my channel for the creative building. So I'm really happy to be back with some creative building for you guys. I hope you guys are happy about that. And so yeah, moving on here, uh, trying to make like a small staircase like that. It could work absolutely. Keep in mind that this is a let's build, not a tutorial, so I would probably go back and forth a little bit and do some derpings, you know. That's what I do. I'm a man. There's nothing I can do about it, I would say. I'm a derpy person. Something like that, you could, yeah, like a stair going up and then to this area and yeah, very cool. Also, I would add like a window here, I think. Yeah, right there, so it's level with the other one like that. Looks really cool. Looks really cool. And then just try to make like this. Um, I don't know what this is called. Chronolated? Is that a word? I think it might be a chronolated area. Continue this around here. I think I might want to do that like a small balcony or something. So yeah, you saw the first uh, area I showed you, like this main town of the desert here, which I started off by myself. I want to make this area a little bit more vegetated. And not as dry try to make some at least try to make it look like it's not that dry as the first place uh, I hope I can pull that off and make it look a little bit more pleasant to be if that makes any sense and try to add some more trees and palms around here and also use some more wood in the buildings but for now I'm just gonna try to make like the basic shell here of or the basic layout and stuff with a normal sandstone and stuff like that and then we'll move on with some more uh, colorful and wooden materials later on. It's been a while since I've been doing some building like this on camera so <laughs> I might be a little bit rusty here but I, I think it should be okay. Uh, how is this thing doing? How wide is this? It's only four wide. It's a little, little thin I think but I really want to have this like sort of and uh, not that flat roof thing, which I have on the rest of the build. Something like that. Yeah, guys. So, yeah, guys, I'm just building like this uh, small house here in the beginning to set the style and set the standard of the town. And uh, so, we'll, next episode and forward, we will be doing some more exciting builds, like a tavern and stuff like that. Maybe some stables and stuff. And try to go more into the detail of the town. So I am really looking forward to that. That's the most fun part, I think, about buildings like this. Creating like the, the special buildings, not just the houses. But I really like to just do the houses first to create like uh, the standard of the build and create how I want this, like the style to be of this every, every different town, you know, to look when it's all done. So yeah, that's why we do this first and then we'll move on to some more exciting later on. And uh, let's have like a door back here like a back entry or something 
like this and then yeah really cool really cool I'm I'm digging this one so far uh, it's not every time I'm digging a style first time I build it so yeah but I'm actually pretty good at this like medieval desert style I've been building it a lot also some of the Italian I think it's very similar to the Italian or Mediterranean styles so I have a lot of experience with those kind of styles that might give me a helping hand here I think but yeah what do you guys think it's not too bad is it no 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 it's not too shabby absolutely not and I have a window back here I think I might have a window uh, up here somewhere as well like this yeah and then we can make a balcony on the back here with a door like that and then another window like that or is that too much now that absolutely works perfect very cool very cool and then what else is there to do with this bill here let's start adding some details here and maybe we'll do some more additions later on something I like to do like on the roofs of these desert buildings is to use dirt and coarse dirt because it kind of it's a little bit realistic because dirt has this very calming and chilling effect because it absorbs a lot of the heat uh, in real life and it kind of for me it looks like a little little bit realistic way to do this because it would take off a lot of the heat from uh, instead of having stone up here or wood wood would also be very bad for housings or like roof on housings on houses like this because and the wood would dry out and start to bend and stuff with the humidity hits in but we'll use some wood here of course I was thinking what if we is that maybe a little bit weird starting off going like that no no no, that doesn't work try to make like this detail trim here let's just do it like that and add some of this oak in to add like some to make the wood look a little bit, little bit dry like that how is it looking so far? I like it. I really like it. Absolutely. Let's add like this stair up here for some a door in the future. Also replace you and then well, what kind of door? I think I'm going for spruce doors. I really like how they look. Let's turn back to daytime again. And then I have another door right here. Yeah, that's really cool. I like the fact that this door looks like a little bit like a cheaper, cheaper place, uh, like a cheaper door than the other ones. And that's kind of what I'm thinking. I don't want this to be like the wealthiest places on in the world here. I want this to be like uh, kind of a, what can you say, like not poor, but not as wealthy as the big town I showed you earlier on and Nar Al Salib. But I kind of want to make to look a little bit more yeah kind of like the countryside where everything is not perfect but it's still like decent if you know what I mean I really love that wooden part there that looks really cool yeah I'm going for that might try to add some more of that around there let's change some of you into to oak like this perhaps oh. Yeah, looks really cool. That looks nice. Yes, I just said nice, did I? Oh crap, that's so wrong. That's so wrong on many levels. I am sorry that you guys have to hear that. I am truly sorry. I didn't mean to say it. <laughs> wow. It's really hard for me to do like this very long, just recording a long straight and do some building uh, because my throat at the moment is a little bit itchy it's getting cold here in Norway and also the fact that I live in Norway makes it speaking English for such a long time makes my brain go into like this sleeping mode because it's getting so tired of trying to figure out how to say this properly without sounding like a stupid fool like I just did uh, so yeah it's really hard for me to keep up uh, the talking like making interesting stuff but hopefully I will get better as the more I just do it I think I will evolve my brain will and uh, will uh, work together with me after a while so this is looking pretty cool pretty pretty awesome I like this 
Something I really like to do on these kind of builds is to add some buttons, like on some parts up here, kind of like some wooden um, supporting beams going through like the whole build here, like that, and also add some trapdoors above the windows or next to the windows like this, uh, like that, yeah, kind of like window shutters. You could also place them on top like that, it also works, so I think I might do some, some of both. Or perhaps, yeah, no, for this town, let's place all of them next to them. Try to add a, that as a rule, I guess, for this place. Something like that. Yeah, and then we can have, like, another, like, small roof above the door entry here. Like, oh, the frames. I don't know what's happening. It just ha hits me sometimes. Uh, and then, how, how does that look? Is that, like, really bad? It looks really cool, but can you... You can still go up here. I really like that. That's really cool. I think I'm, I'm keeping that. So, we're getting pretty close. This is looking fantastic so far. I hope you guys like it as well. And uh, Desert Style is one of my favorite, and it has, will probably always be. That's why I like to build it. I've done so many, like, let's build on these type of buildings in the past. So, that's awesome. Then I want to add some, just some grass and stuff like on the top here, because I want to make this place a little bit more vegetated than the other parts of the desert. Because these people have like, if you make a story, they have been using the river here to soften and like, yeah, make this soil here a little bit more uh, wet, and that allows for more growth. And yeah, it just continues like that. To have some grass around on the roofs and stuff would be pretty cool. Also on the side here, I think, let's do some like firewood and stuff. Um, yeah, because I retextured the purple pillar, because that's a really useless block in my opinion. To look like uh, piles of firewood like this. So let's just put one on there and maybe something I like to do is just put like a log and then a lever on top. It looks like an axe or something. Which is like, yeah, where you can chop off the wood. A little bit like that and yeah. We're getting really close to have a finished product here. We need to make a small like uh, stair going up to the build here. And I think I might just do something really basic like this. And then have... Where is you? There you are. Perfecto. And then... Something like that. How is... I think that's okay, right? Yeah, absolutely. That looks really cool. And then we have to do some inside work as well. I'll try to be, do like a one build in every episode or every part of this. Because it's, I think it's pointless to just stop in mid-in. Even though the episodes might be a little long or a little short. I just think it's, yeah, soothing to just do a build and then shot an episode. And then do another build in the next episode. Yeah. Is that okay for you guys? I hope it is. I think it makes more sense to do it that way instead of just chopping off different builds and yeah not to finish as it like a build in an episode is kind of weird i think uh so how do we want to do the inside here we have like i want to make this like a small room and then uh maybe just make this like a big open room or perhaps make a pillar or something like that and then we'll have slabs on the these parts here because we have dirt there, so we don't want to see that. But then I think maybe just normal spruce like this would be cool. All the way around like this. I think that would make sense. Something like, yeah. Really cool to have like this elevation in the roof as well. Really makes it look a little bit more, pers give it more personality in my opinion. Yeah, absolutely. This is very cool. And inside here, I want to make just some simple, like, shelving units for storing stuff. We'll have a furnace like this, and then make a pipe like this going up for getting away all the smoke and stuff. And then I had a retexture, or actually, I've just taken the texture from John Smith. I'm just going to have some water right now. Ah, that's so good. 
uh, for the redstone torch and it kind of looks like a candle really cool and what else I don't know also retexture this this is taken from B double O's pack some of this texture I actually just copies of that doing some changes to them but pretty much just like from B double O's pack because I really like that pack so yeah I recommend checking that out so we have like a small shelving unit here and then we can have uh, maybe some iron bars on top here like this for a rack or something for hanging up towels and stuff I don't know what kind of tools I would use here and then we'll have a small seating area I think um, yeah no let's use the wooden uh, pressure plate it's called yeah there we go my, my words aren't shrinking with my mind right now and just as I talked about this is really cool I have a feeling that I may want to put like a banner or something on this thing right here like a towel or something yeah it looks really cool and I could add some buttons on this bed boys like that and then in here I am just thinking storage basically now we have some bedrooms and stuff upstairs so let's have a bookshelf and then we have a jukebox which I retexture to a, like a barrel some crates like this uh -huh. maybe just do it like that and then yeah that works I think yeah very cool let's move upstairs and I think we'll call it a day because yeah we're getting close to a finished product of this house here and we'll have like a very like uh, common episode or where we do some landscaping around all the different builds here I think it's the best way to do it up here there are lots of doors uh, Let's seal this off as a separate room, I think. And then kind of have like a bed, perhaps. Yeah, just very simple like this. Keep in mind that like, this is the medieval ages, so uh, the standards wasn't as good as they are now. Maybe just like a few beds like that, and then a chest in the middle. And maybe some carpet on the floor, just using some brown here, like... Yeah, like just like some... Uh, what's it called now? Letter from like an animal they have killed or something like that. And then, yeah. Very simple. Very simple. Then we could add, I think like a barrel up here with some water, fresh water, because they probably not have water inside their houses here. And then we'll add, uh, for example, like a bookshelf. With, oh, I already had one in my inventory, but then with a candle on like that. And then add some torches just to light this place up a little bit like that would be cool and yeah absolutely I like this very simple but it kind of makes sense looks really cozy when just when you enter like this I like it how does it look from the outside it looks beautiful I think what do you guys think be sure to let me know your comment and know your um, what's it called <laughs> your meaning or your yeah, your meaning of this build, what you think of it, so I can uh, take some uh, constructive criticism from you guys and we can hopefully make the next build in this series. I'm just gonna have some water right now. Ah, that's so good. Uh, for the redstone torch, and it kind of looks like a candle. Really cool. And what else? I don't know. Also, retexture this. This is taken from B double O's pack. Some of this texture I actually just copies of that doing some changes to them but pretty much just like from B00's pack because I really like that pack so yeah I recommend checking that out so we have like a small shelving unit here and then we can have uh, maybe some iron bars on top here like this for a rack or something for hanging up towels and stuff I don't know what kind of tools I would use here and then we'll have a small seating area I think um, yeah no let's use the wooden uh, pressure plate it's called yeah there we go my, my words aren't shrinking with my mind right now and just as I talked about this is really cool I have a feeling that I may want to put like a banner or something on this thing right here like a towel or something yeah it looks really cool and I could add 
some buttons on this bad boys like that and then in here I am just thinking storage basically now we have some bedrooms and stuff upstairs so let's have a bookshelf and then we have a jukebox which I retextured to a, like a barrel some crates like this uh -huh. maybe just do it like that and then yeah that works I think yeah very cool let's move upstairs and I think we'll call it a day because yeah we're getting close to a finished product of this house here and we'll have like a very like um, common episode or where we do some landscaping around all the different builds here I think it's the best way to do it up here there are lots of doors uh, let's seal this off as a separate room I think and then kind of have like a bed perhaps yeah just very simple like this keep in mind that like this is the medieval ages so uh, the standards wasn't as good as they are now maybe just like a few beds like that and then a chest in the middle maybe some carpet on the floor just using some brown here like yeah like just like some uh, what's it called now letter from like an animal they have killed or something like that and then yeah very simple very simple then we could add I think like a barrel up here with some water fresh water because they probably not have water inside their houses here and then we'll add uh, for example like a bookshelf with a, oh well, I already had one in my inventory but then with a t candle on like that and then add some torches just to light this place up a little bit like that would be cool and yeah absolutely I like this very simple but it kind of makes sense looks really cozy when just when you enter like this I like it how does it look from the outside it looks beautiful I think what do you guys think be sure to let me know your comment and know your um, what's it called <laughs> your meaning or your yeah your meaning of this build what you think of it so I can uh, take some uh, constructive criticism from you guys and we can hopefully make the next build in this series way better I know this episode was a little bit derpy but bear with me guys next episode will be much better thank you so much for watching I really do hope you enjoyed if so be sure to smack that like button and if you haven't done already be sure to subscribe and all that stuff and I will see you all guys later it has been Vigo man